Welcome, folks, to the Catholic Foodie, where food meets faith. I'm your host, Jeff Young, and today we're talking about how to make shrimp etouffee. You can find more recipes over at catholicfoodie.com. Now, I love summertime. Summer is hot, of course, but man, I, I just absolutely love the fact that we have Creole tomatoes and shrimp. You know, fresh Gulf shrimp right there from the Gulf of Mexico. Fantastic, wonderful things. And, uh, you know, I, I love one of the recipes I love to make is shrimp etouffee. So, and I always buy my shrimp whole, right? Heads on, everything. Why? Because I take those uh, shells, the heads and the shells, I save all of that, and uh, I can make a a, a beautiful shrimp stock. And I use that for other recipes, including seafood gumbo or a shrimp and okra gumbo. So always keep those shells. And these shrimp are so fresh that, uh, that that vein right there, I can pull it out right with my hands. I don't even need to use a deveiner. It just comes right on out. So... I used about uh, three pounds of shrimp here, fresh Gulf shrimp, and um, that is the start of our etouffee. And Kerrygold butter is what I use to make the base of my etouffee. Now, you use a lot of butter, about a stick and a half of butter. And, uh, of course, etouffee itself, the word means smothered. And what do we smother it in? We smother it in onions and bell pepper. And uh, a lot of folks use celery, too, right? That's onion, bell pepper, and celery. We call that the the Holy Trinity down here in South Louisiana. Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not partial to uh, to celery personally, so I, I leave it out of my etouffee. And that's the thing about recipes, you know you 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 just make them. You don't have, it's not a law. There's no recipe police out there. You just make them the way you want to make them, uh, the way that you like the food to taste. So uh, they're more like guidelines, right? Recipes. <laughs> Fresh bell pepper, love bell pepper. So we do about. Um, uh, four cups of onions, and you know, roughly speaking, I add about four onions. And I, I'm using you know Vidalia onions, really good sweet yellow onions, and uh, I think I added uh, three bell peppers here. I got three bell peppers going into this etouffee, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna smother those shrimp up real good. You know, uh, I probably need to sharpen my knife. I have a, a, a wonderful butcher knife here, but um, it probably needs a bit of sharpening <laughs> and you know uh, garlic of course is uh, absolute necessity uh, you know what we, we could actually switch out i would recommend this switch out the uh, celery for garlic in the holy trinity in south louisiana i think i think we can make an argument for that so uh, about four or five cloves of garlic here and what i'm going to do is actually um i'm not going to chop it i'm not going to mince it and in a minute you'll see this i'm going to use a mortar and pestle and uh, crush that garlic. But another oddity that I'm doing right now, but I think is just absolutely delicious. You know, we do have a, a dish in South Louisiana called uh, shrimp creole, very similar to a shrimp etouffee, except the base of that is uh, with tomatoes. So lots of folks, if you're a purist, you probably would not add tomatoes to your etouffee. But you know what? Summer is great for creole tomatoes. I love creole tomatoes. It's just good homegrown tomatoes from down here in South Louisiana. So I'm adding some Creole tomatoes to my shrimp etouffee. And you know what? It's going to be delicious. And uh, here's the uh, the mortar and pestle. We got this years ago from, I believe, my mother-in-law gave us this. uh, Wooden mortar and pestle. We use this thing every day. Salad dressings. We make salad dressings all the time. I mean, we use it. Anytime we we, we add garlic to uh, a recipe, uh, I'm using this mortar and pestle to crush it. You see, I'm throwing in some uh, coarse ground kosher salt here. And what that does is it acts as an abrasive when I go in to, uh, to crush this garlic. It helps to, uh, to, 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 it makes easy work, right? Easy work. So we crush that garlic really, really well. And I'm, I'm not into wasting anything. So uh, I like to pull out a, a spoon and uh, get all the little bits of juicy garlic I can off of the, uh, uh, off this, the mortar and pestle, actually. And I'm going to, Kind of reserve that because we're going to add that a little bit later on to the etouffee. So I'm going to reserve that in a glass dish for now. Now, you know, it's smothered. So what we do, we, we I melted the butter uh, over medium-high heat and uh, threw in the onions and the bell pepper. And I'm going to saute that for probably uh, about 8 to 10 minutes, more like uh, actually 10 to 12 minutes. And uh, because I have so much in here, I, I did wait till about 12 minutes before I throw it in before throwing in the garlic, and uh, the garlic goes in there, stirred up real good, 
And we're going to let that cook again, saute for about another uh, two or three minutes. Um, and then uh, we're going to add the shrimp. So the shrimp go in there. And, you know, when, you, when you're cooking with shrimp, you have to, fresh shrimp, you have to be very careful. It doesn't take too long to overcook shrimp. I'm throwing in some salt, some cayenne. I think I did two tablespoons, two teaspoons of salt, about a half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper here. And uh, you're going to mix it all up, mix it up real good. It's amazing the amount of flavor that comes out of these ingredients when you're sautéing like this. Remember, it's over a medium-high heat. Uh, when, the, when the shrimp are starting to get to the point of being done, being cooked, or getting there, they turn pink, right? And what I'm doing here is I'm making, uh, I'm adding a wet roux, uh, two, um, two cups of, of water to two tablespoons of flour. And I mix that up really, really well and add this. And the reason we add the roux is, uh, that those are the tomatoes that I, I, I told you I was going to add, right? <laughs> but the reason we make a roux is because it thickens up the etouffee. So as this uh, uh, pot will simmer for a while, it is going to thicken up. Parsley, fresh parsley, fresh green onions. And you know, I always chop extra parsley and green onions because I like to take those little glass dishes, those little glass bowls, stick them on the table. Because some folks, when they eat their etouffee, they may want to add some green onions and some parsley on top of their bowl, like, like I do, for instance. And of course, you can't forget hot sauce, right? You got to have some hot sauce on the side. And uh, we like to uh, provide a variety for our guests. They can choose uh, between the different hot sauces that, uh, that are some of our family favorites. So that's it, folks, right here. This is how to make shrimp etouffee, right, with the Catholic foodie. <laughs> with the Catholic foodie where food meets faith. And uh, join me over at catholicfoodie.com for more delicious recipes.